What's happening guys? I'm at the brand new store, Ultimate Spice Gaming. Today, I wanna to try to find something brand new to open and something a little bit older to open. Let's go inside and see what they have. brought some cards to trade. I'm gonna try to find something that I like out of the case here, which shouldn't be hard at all because there's a ton of awesome cards in there. Here's everything that I brought. A bunch of duplicates that you've seen me pull on the channel over the last few weeks. Some uh, couple decent ones in here too. We got the, the Rainbow Rare, the Alakazam, the duplicate, the third Arceus Gold that I pulled. Arceus or Arceus? Who knows? Maybe no one will ever know. Let's check, uh, let's look into the cabinet and find something to trade it for. All right, this shelf here is looking pretty cool. There's some promos that I haven't seen in person before. I'm thinking about maybe one of those or a few of them. Down here, some other cool stuff too. Kind of a mix of like brand new stuff with things from a few years ago, but here we go, the slabs. Oh, the Charizard Mint 9. I know you guys probably want me to get this one, maybe, but... I'm liking these first edition cards right here. There's a lot of cool stuff in this slab. Looks like they're all sevens. I know I could do something with these long run. I don't know, which ones do you guys think I should get? Okay guys, I know you probably want me to trade the bulk in for this one and obviously put some more cash down on it too, but I feel like I'm gonna wait until I find a PSA 10 for the Rainbow Zard. We're gonna go with these three slabs instead. Let's pick out something from the wall too. There is so much stuff on this wall right here. Check it out guys, tons of old ETBs. They've got Hidden Fates, Forbidden Light, Unified Mind, Dragon Majesty, Champion's Path, all kinds of stuff. I'm seeing the Hidden Fates, but I'm also seeing the brand new Pokemon Go boxes right over there in the corner. And I see this Hidden Fates tin right here. There's four packs in each one of those. Let's get each one and open them up. All right, guys, back in the studio. Leave a like on this video if you can, and consider following the channel by hitting that subscribe button. Let's check out everything that we got from Ultimate Spice Gaming today. Now, I traded in a bunch of my duplicate trainer gallery cards, some Vs, some random V Maxes, and stuff like that, and picked up these three PSA 7 first edition base set cards. Now, I know that they're only sevens, but they're first edition, they're shadowless, which goes without saying because it's first edition, but I think it's something really cool to have in the collection and probably something that I'll end up using to trade at an, in another video maybe for something a little cooler. So we've got the Voltorb first edition seven and it, it definitely is a seven. There's some whitening on the side. There's a little bit of edge damage there and all of them look basically about the same on the back. Some of them, the centering was definitely better, but then the, the edge or the corner damage brought it down to a seven and on the seal, same thing. Front is looking pretty good. Maybe a little mark right up there on the top but on the back here once again just a little bit of damage there like I said something I'll probably use to trade in another video for maybe some more slabs or something cooler than that let's set these aside I also had to pick up even though I, I've just opened way too much of it and I'm like cursed trying to pull that Charizard but I had to grab the last pack of shiny star V that they had in the box before they put a new box on the counter so we'll open this up last also grabbed the hidden fates Gyarados GX 10 I've opened one of these before on the channel and I don't know if that's where my good pull from hidden fates came from or not but we're gonna be testing out hidden fates versus Pokemon Go to Today, four packs can an Alolan Executor V Box beat a Gyarados Hidden Fates tin. But before we do that, the awesome guys over at Ultimate Spice Gaming threw in this collector bundle here, this Arceus collector bundle, donated it to the channel, said, hey, just in case you don't pull something from those other boxes, you gotta have another shot. So let's get warmed up today by opening this up first here. We'll hit it with the lucky Pikachu pin. I like this box more than the, uh, the metal lunchbox version of this. I know you guys have seen everything that comes inside. If you haven't, I'll drop a link to the video where I open that up here. Let's get this out of the way. 
grabbed the coin there. You can see the promos. Like I said, check my other video for everything that's inside. We got a lot of packs to open today, so I want to get right to these here. Seven packs inside the Arceus Collector Bundle. Arceus, Arceus. I've heard Pokemon say it different ways. I've heard everyone say it different way. Let me know in the comments, which I don't really know how you'll do that. But do you pronounce it Arceus or Arceus? Here's the code for you for the collector's chest. Honestly, not sure what that's going to get you. Maybe those promos in there and maybe something else, but there should be seven packs. And oh, have they switched this up? Okay, we've got two brilliant stars, two, three vivid voltage, one fusion, and one evolving skies. I want to say that this is different packs inside than the first time that we opened this. And on the front of the bundle, it does say that the contents are subject to change, but I didn't think they'd switch out what was inside this quickly expecting maybe them to switch it up when Astral Radiance came out and we'd see Astral Radiance inside, but brilliant stars. We need to pull that alternate art Charizard. Here we go, Gibble, Turtwig. There's also a handful of trainer galleries that I still need from brilliant stars. Purloin and Al Creamy for the first one here. Let's get into this. Uh, what happened to this pack? Somebody was having a bad day at the factory and they just shoved that one in there. But you know what? Maybe we'll get some good luck out of it because of that. Let's see, can we pull in any anything for the binder that I need. Honestly, that's the way it's been going lately. I feel like I've been hitting a lot of duplicates and I really just want to start finishing sets, but I don't want to buy the singles. I know that's like the most efficient way to do it, but it doesn't feel the same when you, you buy a Charizard versus pulling a Charizard. Professor's research for the rare. No trainer galleries or alt Charizard in those brilliant stars. Vivid Voltage. I still need to pull the full art Pikachu V. I've pulled the rainbow Pika. I've pulled the rainbow Leon Bam. I need that full art Pikachu V or I think I have pulled the regular full art Leon. I think I've pulled the, the rainbow and the regular. Here we go. Aromatic energy. It's a little, uh, I don't want to say boring, but when you go back to a set that doesn't have a subset in it, Ferrothorn, it kind of gets not as exciting. I know Vivid Voltage does have a subset technically with the um, amazing rares, but I'll be super honest. The effect of the amazing rares was kind of very short lived. They were cool at first, but once we started just kind of pulling them like back to back to back, they kind of lost like their sparkle, their amazingness. Here we go. Code for you. Lucky Leaf Energy. Can we get something from Evolving Skies today? A little bit of damage on these cards here. We got Yanma, Meowth, Dust Skull, Voltorb, Bent Voltorb. It's like the other pack that should have been damaged wasn't, and this one is. We've got Opal for our reverse and an Aegis Slash V for our first technical pull out of this collector bundle. Let's drop the Aegis Slash V into a sleeve. We got another pack of Vivid Voltage here. I am so excited to open up that Hidden Fates. It's been a while since I've opened any on the channel, and in general, I have not opened a ton of Hidden Fates. So if we can somehow get any shiny pull today, from that Gyarados tin, I will be super, super stoked, but I'm really excited just to get to open it. We got Duskull, Ferroseed, Riolu, Sandile, Whalemur, Hitmontop for our reverse, and a Colossal VMAX for our rare. We got at least one more hit from this collector bundle, and we got two packs left. Surprised that the pull came from Vivid Voltage. I would have guessed at least a trainer gallery from Brilliant Stars, maybe a, a Dedenne or another Flareon, which I would not complain about. Flareon being my favorite Kanto evolution. Bam, here's a Fusion Strike code for you. Fusion Strike, what am I still looking to pull from Fusion Strike? I traded for the Gengar V Max, I traded for the alternate art Celebi, but it'd be really cool to pull one. Let's see, we've got Impidimp, Snom, Onyx, if I can grab the card, Gooby for our reverse, and an Electros for our rare. All right, 1v, 1v Max from this collector's bundle, Evolving Skies, Umbreon Pack Art. Can you save the day? Why does this pack not want to open? Can you save the day with an alternate art Dragonite? Maybe a Moonbreon? I don't know if we're that lucky. Here we go, four to the front for Evolving Skies. Really like that collector bundle though. Haven't had the greatest luck with the ones I've opened, but I just like the presentation of it. I like how they put those packs in there. We've got Scraggy, Hippopotas, Time Pole, Lit Leo, Shellgun for our reverse. Last pack magic from the Arceus box, and it's just a non-hollow Lilligant. Let's get these cards out of the way. 
I know that this is what you came here to see, or at least uh, what you skipped through to this part to see. We'll save the shiny star V to the end. Maybe you can save the day. We'll set it right over here. Gyarados GX, Hidden Fates versus Pokemon Go. Let's start off with the Alolan box. Okay, inside this Alolan Executor V box, you're gonna get this code card here, one Alolan Executor V promo, which will drop you into the sleeve. Every V deserves a sleeve, bam. You're also gonna get four packs of cards, this Pokemon Go code little list here, get you some items inside the Pokemon Go game. This is different from the codes that you would put into the TCG online, and an Alolan Executor V jumbo. Once again, someone Please tell me what to do with these jumbos besides just throwing them in the binder. I don't know why, but I feel like I just, I have way, way too many of them. Four packs of Pokemon Go. From Pokemon Go, we're gonna be looking to pull that alternate art Mewtwo V, that gold Mewtwo V star or the rainbow Mewtwo V star, along with the radiant Charizard Venusaur or Blastoise. I've opened over 50 packs of Pokemon Go. I haven't hit a single radiant. Let's see if it can beat Hidden Fates today though. It's, uh, it's kind of a rough comparison. There's definitely a lot more cards to pull in Hidden Fates, but there's kind of some crazy chases also in Go. Let's see, Squirtle, Sylveon in our Radiant spot, and we've got Slacking V, one that I needed for the binder. My binder for Go, just a little over 70% complete. Still a lot of full arts that I need, and that Mewtwo alternate art. Let's see, can if we can pull two Mewtwo's today, can you imagine Mewtwo alt art from Pokemon Go and then shiny Mewtwo from Hidden Fates. There's a code for you. We got four more to the front. But like I was saying, if Go can somehow beat Hidden Fates today, I'll be a little surprised. Definitely more cards to pull in Hidden Fates. We've got Bidoof, Onyx, Bibarel, Meltan, Magikarp, Eevee in our Radiant Spot hiding a Pikachu, Hollow. Two packs left with only a V pull so far from Pokemon Go. I don't know, it's gonna take it's gonna take something amazing happening in these last two packs for Go to have a shot today. Here we go, or maybe the GX den will be empty too. That would be pretty terrible. Here we go, four to the front. Lucky Leaf, can you actually bring us some luck today? We've got Lure Module, Puppetar, Lunatone, Apom, Charmander, Eevee, Numel, Alolan Raticate, Bulbasaur for our reverse, and a Hollow Sylveon for the rare, okay. For Pokemon Go, it comes down to this last pack here. Four versus four. So far, we got one V-Pull from this Go box. What can we get in this last pack? We have to have at least, we gotta get something to give Go a chance to beat Hidden Fates. Four to the front. I'll be honest, I really just wanted to open some Hidden Fates. It's been a long, long time. We've got Pokestop, Lunatone, Slowbro, Eevee, Natu. Ambipom, Larvitar, Alolan Raticate. Can we see a Radiant? Oh, it's Melmetal in our reverse spot. Last pack magic for Go. It's just a hollow Blastoise. Okay, we do still have this last pack of Shiny Star V, but let's see. Can Hidden Fates beat Pokemon Go. It's got not a lot to live up to in terms of what to beat right now. One V card and a couple of hollows. Now, you see this sticker here. I want to say, because of the way this wrapper is around this with this sticker, that this is one of the earlier prints of Hidden Fates. I totally could be wrong and definitely let me know in the comments if I am, but I want to say that when they started reprinting these tins, they used that wraparound plastic instead of this full plastic with the little code there here we go let's see oh i can't believe i'm opening this so 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 cool all right gyarados gx inside now oh that's the thing i remember the other hidden fates tins they had a different way of putting the card in there there was like a, a golden black kind of honeycomb logo that it held the card so maybe this is one of the later prints of it not sure how big of a difference that'll make in terms of pulls i feel like the first print of sets always has kind of the better pull rates. Let's drop Gyarados GX into a sleeve, especially for Shining Fates. I feel like the Shining Fates reprint 
uh, like ATBs and the Pikachu boxes, definitely not hitting as hard as the first print was. Was four packs of Hidden Fates. We've got all four art sets right here. Let's start off with the Mew artwork. Here we go. Cannot believe we're doing this. Probably only the second or third time I've opened Hidden Fates on the channel. Let's get this code BAM out of the way for you. And Hidden Fates should be four to the front, I think. Or I just ruined it. No, okay, that's right, four to the front. We've got Fighting Energy. Can we fight our way to a pull? We've got Jinx, Misty's Determination, Eevee, Ekans, Charmander, Psyduck, I love this old artwork. Magikarp, it's not even that old, but still. Jesse and James for our reverse. I mean, a Jesse and James full art. How crazy is that? Did we just get the best Jesse and James tin? Jesse and James reverse with Jesse and James full art right behind it. Let's drop you into a sleeve. Honestly, we might be tied up already with Pokemon Go. I think Jesse and James has got to be beating that v pull. And we got three packs left here. Let's open this Mewtwo up right here. One of these days, I'm gonna have to do a full ETB of Hidden Fates. We gotta do it. We gotta give ourselves a real chance to try to pull that Charizard. Another code for you. Four to the front for Hidden Fates. Now the Shinies will be in the reverse slot if we have one. Psychic Energy, Brock's Grit, Farfetch, Graveler, Geodude, Cubone, Eevee, Clefairy, Psyduck, Kangaskhan for our reverse, and a non holo Mr. Mime for the rare. All right, we'll save the Charizard pack art for the end. That artwork is so cool. We got the birds here. I'd be happy even if we pulled the birds, but Jesse and James in the first pack behind the Jesse and James reverse trainer. How crazy is that? Here we go. Another code. It's going fast. We're blasting right through it. Hidden Fates, we've got Lucky Leaf, Magmar, Mis uh, Misty's Cerulean City Gym, we've got Charmeleon, Coughing, Clefairy, Staryu, Jigglypuff, Ekans, we got a Shiny, oh, it's the... Mag Nagnadel GX. Oh, I saw the shiny border and thought, could this actually be the Charizard? I don't know if we can double it up. Yeah, there we go. Hollow Brock's Grit and at least one shiny from the tin. Nagnadel GX. Honestly, that orange and black looks really cool. Let's drop you into a sleeve. Bam. A shiny and a full art from one tin. I think it's already safe to say that Hidden Fates definitely beat Pokemon Go. Can we somehow see some last pack magic? in this Charizard pack art. Oh, guys, I definitely need to open some more Hidden Fates. This is gonna be tough. Here we go. Last code of Hidden Fates for you, and then we'll open up that Japanese Shiny Star V, the Japanese Shining Fates. Fire energy in the Charizard pack. Brock's Pewter City Gym, Giovanni's Exile, Koga's Trap, Staryu, Slowpoke, Voltorb, Pikachu, Ekans, Oh, oh, it's a baby shiny Malamar. So we got two shinies and a full art Jesse and James in this tin. Can't we somehow? Oh, it's it's very fitting. That Mew is very fitting. There we go. We'll set Mew aside here. Drop Malamar shiny into a sleeve. Bam. Honestly, I'm just happy that we pulled some shinies from those tins. Definitely safe to say that Hidden Fates won the day. But we've got one last pack here. Shiny Star V, the Japanese equivalent of Shining Fates. I really love these little pull tabs that they put on them here. Let's open this up, see if we can find one more shiny for the day. Definitely check out Ultimate Spice Gaming if you guys are ever out in Rosemont, California. They have a ton, ton of Pokemon products and a ton of Funkos too. Let's get this code out of the way. Looks like the uh, Blastoise VMAX code. Now, the card trick, I think for SSV, if you do it and you have a shiny hit, it'll mess it up. So let's just go right through it here. We've got Yamper. Clobopus, Haunter, the greatest Pokemon of all time, uh, Trainer, we've got, uh, oh, why am I drawing a blank? Drizzle, look who's stuck outside in the Drizzle, and Hollow Decidueye, Hollow Galarian Corsola, Cursula, and... 
Oh, it's just a Centus Scorch V hiding our reverse right on. Centus Scorch V going into the sleeve, but this was a blast, guys. I got to open some Shiny Star V and some Hidden Fates and Pokemon Go in the same day. I definitely can't complain about that. But if you enjoyed this video, drop a like, drop a sub. I post a new one every Wednesday and every Saturday. Until then, be safe, have fun, keep collecting, and I'll see you guys in one of these older videos right here. Check one of these videos out. Thank you.